good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be talking about five things that every single wwe action figure collector should do um i think that grim's toy show made this video a long time ago but he did the five things that wwe figure collectors should not do and this is not really a response to that video but this is just sort of an idea i had from that video so i wanted to go ahead and plug that in but this is five things five things that every wwe figure collector should do and we're going to start things off with number one. Number one is to buy figures that you want. Not because someone told you to or because everyone has the figure. So buy figures that you want to buy. If you want 800 John Cena's, buy 800 John Cena's. You want every figure that Mattel releases, you buy every single figure that Mattel releases. Don't let other people um, sway you. Don't let people influence you. I mean, I guess people can influence you, but don't let that be the main reason why you buy something. Buy something because you actually want it. If you end up buying figures that you don't want, guys, you're going to end up really unhappy with your collection and you're going to want to quit and you're just going to be like, why do I even have this? Why this? You're going to question yourself. So really don't buy figures that you don't want. Like there, there are a ton of figures that I think I have in my collection that I don't want. And uh, to be honest with you, they kind of fill up space. You know, you don't want that crap. Buy figures that you want to have. So like you don't end up in a situation where you don't want any or you don't want your figures. So that is the first thing is to buy figures that you sincerely want in your collection. Number two is to open and use your figures. Guys like, my God, look at this beautiful John Cena. How stupid would it be if I kept him in the packaging? I know that there are mock collectors out there that keep a ton of things mock. Uh, mock means mint on card, if you guys don't know that. And uh, they, they put it in there. I don't think I have any. I, I literally, I think the only thing, let me, let me look right quick. Guys, I seriously don't think so. I don't have any mock figures in my collection. I used to. Um, I had an Elite 16 CM Punk that I had kept mock ever since it first released. And I gave it away in a figure giveaway. So, I mean, I, I don't have any figures that are mock. It's just not something that I do. I think that Mattel releases so many figures and they release them in mass quantities that there is no reason to keep figures mock. If you have figures from older Mattel series, you know, the first few series, or, you know, there are some rare ones out there. But, however, I, I don't I don't agree with it. I don't think that keeping um, one of the newest figures in mock packaging is going to go up in price over the next few years. I just don't see that happening. I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, I could be wrong, but, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see it happening happening unless it's like an exclusive or very hard to find figure it's just not gonna happen so open up your figures display them you know move them around pose them around do pick feds freaking uh if you're a kid play with them man have matches have your own feds have your own championships stuff like that uh being you know oh my god so open your figures guys i think they look epic on display i think it's so cool when people pose them around and do photography i think that opening your figures is how you get, is how you get the joy out of it why do i want to pay 20 dollars just to put a figure up on the shelf or the wall. You know what I'm saying? So open up your figures and play with them. Number three is to buy figures online, guys. There's plenty of places to buy online. I think the Groom's Toy Show said to never buy figures online or like eBay or Amazon or places like that. Don't ever buy figures on eBay. I disagree with that wholeheartedly and I'm going to show you why. You guys see this Elite 12 cane right here? This Elite 12 cane was bought online on eBay and you know how much I got this for? I literally got it for like 20 bucks and not only did I get this figure, I got like six other figures with it. They were selling a lot. They said random WWE figures. It was this. It was like a basic, another elite figure of some kind, another elite figure, and then some knockoff John Cena elite from China. And they were selling a whole lot for like 20 bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And if I would have never shopped on eBay, how would I have gotten this beautiful Elite 12 cane? And it's in mint condition. There's a little paint chip there on the mask, but the joints are tight. It looks beautiful. It's in great condition. And I would never have it if I never shopped online. There's a ton of things on eBay eBay and Mercari, that's another app, Mercari, M-E-R-C-A-R-I, download it, they have plenty of WWE figure deals on there as well, and Amazon, I mean, don't even get me started, even Ringside Collectibles is an online retailer for WWE action figures, use code MDTOYS to save 10% over there, but you know, you can buy figures online, I think it's a big part of the hobby is buying figures online, specifically eBay and Amazon and Ringside. The next thing that every WWE figure collector should do, guys, is to buy these little fodder boxes. This is all of my WWE figure parts, arms, torsos, heads, legs, boots, Literally, there's almost full figures in here, guys. Literally, I think this is an absolute lifesaver. You know, you don't have a lot of places to put these things. Mine are running over. I actually need to buy another one so I can, you know, organize them and stuff. But this is very important. If you're a customizer or you switch parts a lot or, you know, you, you do a lot of things, specifically customizers, I think you should get 
Uh, these these are a must-have. I think these are just toolboxes. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them for very cheap. I think I got like a three-pack or something for pretty cheap. It's like ten bucks. You get three of them, and uh, it's really nice. This one's slightly larger than the other two, but this is something that I definitely recommend. You could even keep accessories, you know, figure accessories, t-shirts, hats, chains, weapons, all that stuff. So even if you're not a customizer, I recommend buying these. You can slide them under your desk, and they don't take up much space, and you're saving a ton of room and it's just a really good investment guys so definitely pick up these little fodder boxes or tool boxes you can just go to the tool section at Walmart and they should have something very similar or check the fishing section but these are a must have and I think that they're a total lifesaver and the fifth and final thing guys is to have fun and be inspired by everybody if you have an Instagram or you have a YouTube channel or you have anything or if you just have WWE figures in your collection just be inspired by things that you see you know you're watching WWE TV you see a really epic match go recreate that match you know be inspired by that it's things you see on WWE TV if you have an Instagram be inspired by other customizers other figure photographers um, this Royal Rumble stage to be honest with you to be straight up with you I was inspired to make this stage or get this stage created because of people like Mac Decals on Instagram. If he never made his WWF Royal Rumble 2000 stage, then I would never have thought, ooh, I want to get my MDT Royal Rumble stage made just like that. And so, I, I mean, just be creative, man. Be inspired by everybody you see in the community. Have fun with your figures. Do whatever the crap you want with them. But I think that that is probably the most important thing is to be inspired and have fun with your WWE figures. Have fun with this hobby. You know, if you're a kid, play, the, play with your figures all you want because when you get older, you're not going to want to play with them. You're going to feel like you're lame. But enjoy it while you're young, man. Freaking enjoy that crap. Live it up, puddle it up, and just, and just have a blast with your figures. That's the whole main reason behind this channel and everything, guys. Just have fun with your WWE figures. We mess around. We do some stupid stuff here on the channel. But we're all just having fun you know what I'm saying so I mean that is definitely something that every WWE figure collector should do and that is have fun and be inspired by this wonderful community of WWE figure collectors but that is pretty much it my list of top five if you have something that you would like to add to the list down below guys I would love to hear it um, what got you into figure collecting I would love to know down below uh, what do you think about this John Cena holding up the five I think that's pretty freaking sick isn't it these you can't see me hands. I mean, Mattel's doing big things, man. I think 2019 is going to be even bigger year for Mattel and their WWE figures in this hobby that we so love so much. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more epic videos like this and other WWE figure-related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.